Welcome to another crappie moment. We're fishing. Got my friend Brian with us again today. We're out here, another hot one. Let's see what we could do. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like if you're enjoying the content. We're gonna keep them coming. I wanna to talk to you for a minute today about uh, one of the biggest mistakes I think crappie fishermen make when fishing. Um, there's certainly, you know, several that you could probably name, but you know, I might want to talk a couple, a couple of them, but one of the biggest ones is, you know, get out there, go, just drop a line, uh, don't catch anything, get frustrated and go back a couple weeks later, you know, drop a line again, not really catching a whole lot. And then, you know, kind of just being frustrated and just giving up is that, you know, one of the biggest mistakes that, you know, we can make, whether it's crappie fishing or fishing in general, really, is just not f spending time on the water. Uh, you know, we're not going to enhance our skills uh, if we're not spending time on the water. We got to get out there and spend time on the water. It's getting out there, looking for fish, uh, scanning, and just spending time trying spot to spot. If something doesn't work, try something else. But you know, one of the biggest mistakes is just not getting out there on a regular basis and you know, uh, putting that line in there and just you know, keep at it. You know, week after week after week. It, you know, you just don't become good at catching crappie uh, overnight. It takes time. So don't make the mistake of, you know, just thinking or getting frustrated because you went out and you couldn't catch it. That. Just keep at it. You know, keep going out there. Keep putting that line in. Um, and spend time on the water. You spend time out there, you're going to find the fish. You're going to enhance your skills. You're going to find where they're at, where they're at during the spring, where they're at during the summer, where they're at during the fall. You're going to find where they're at during the winter. And it just takes time. You spend time out there, you're going to learn the fish behaviors, fish habits, and you're going to find fish. Um, so, you know, get out there. Spend time on the water, you're going to find fish. All right, let's see what we could do today. There we go. It came right off the bottom. Bam. There he is. Oh, that's a deep one. There we go. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. There we go. Huh? That's a better one. Easy. Nice one. There. Fish. There we go. Oh, there we go. Boom. You can see him move all the way through the whole school. <laughs> there he is. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
coffee. Nice one too. Good one. All right. There we go. There's a crappie. There he is. There he goes. Boom. Crappie. That's a crappie. Ha ha ha! Nice one! Where's my Not that big. Felt big. Well, he's still good yeah. for today. We ain't catching monsters today. Crash, he's crash. good for today. Nice one. All right, that's gonna do it. We're gonna wrap it up with that. Don't forget, biggest mistake is not spending time on the water. We can't develop our skills if we're not spending time on the water. So get out there, go spend time on the water, and uh, go catch some crappie. Uh, if you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button, uh, hit that like button. But we're going to keep them coming. We'll see y'all next time.